Hi, my name is Rachel Barnett and I'm with Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you how to remove customer related transactions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sales receipt and an invoice for the same customer, and then I'll show you how to remove one. On the left hand side of my screen, I'm going to click on new. Under the left side column, under customers, I'm going to start with making a sales receipt. Date and the sales receipt number fills in. Uh, payment method, I'm going to say they paid via check. It's check number one, two, three gets deposited into my checking account. I'm going to say the date is today, so 2-18-2020, and then they're going to get consult, oh, I was going to say consulting. Uh, they'll get contractor service. Service will cost $400, and then I'll just say save and close. So I want you to imagine you've created a sales receipt and you didn't realize you've created it, or you forgot or something else happened and you inadvertently added an invoice. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to click on new. I'm going to go down under the customers column to receive payment. I'm going to say this payment came from sample customer that they paid today. Check. Check number one, two, three. As you can see, I like using them for my videos. They have a bunch of outstanding invoices. I'm going to select the invoice from today, uh, which is this one. And then I'm going to change drop down in the lower right hand corner to say save and close. So this is a real life example because it happens to my clients. We'll pop into the check register and I'm just going to go this route to get there. On the right hand side, I'll click on where it says bank accounts and I'll click the checking account. This is the list of stuff that I have to enter in my checking account. Over to the right hand side, there's this hyperlink for go to register. When I'm at my register, I discover that this entry is in here twice, that I've accidentally recorded a payment from sales customer two times. So when I look at it, I can see there's a sales receipt and I can see there's a payment. When I click on this and I choose edit, I can see that it's a sales receipt in the upper left hand corner. I can see the date. I can see what was sold. I can see that it was paid. It went to checking. So everything about this makes sense to me. So I'm going to click cancel in the lower left hand corner. Now I'm going to go to the second one and I'm going to click on this. It gives me this menu down at the bottom. I'm going to click on edit. And now when I scroll down, I can see which invoice was checked. By seeing which invoice is checked, I can see why did they give me $400. If I click on the blue hyperlink for the invoice, I can investigate further. In the upper left hand corner, I see that it's an invoice. I see it's for sales customer. Upper right hand corner, I see it's paid. I can see that it's contractor service, it's $400. I've just done a double check. Because I know the business that I'm working in, I know that sample customer only got one contractor service at $400. Sample customer didn't get two. I just accidentally entered it both as an invoice and as a sales receipt. When I click cancel and I look at my bank register, I can see I have two deposits of $400 and that's not right. I know that sample customer only gave me a total of $400, did not give me $800. This is a situation where I need to decide what am I going to delete? Am I going to delete the invoice and the invoice payment or am I going to delete the sales receipt? For your business, you'll have to decide which one you want to delete. I just want to show you a situation where you might accidentally enter it twice. For my example, I'm just going to delete the sales receipt. So I'm going to click on this line with the sample customer sales receipt. I click anywhere in the line and it expands it and makes it kind of this blue gray box up here. Over to the right hand side, I click on delete. It says, are you sure you want to delete the transaction? I say yes. Now when I look at my check register, I can see that this income from sample customer only appears once. I can verify this by going to the left hand side and going to sales and then down to customers. If I click on the customers tab at the top and then I just search sample customer in my list, I click on their name. I see a history of everything I have in QuickBooks Online for my sample customer. 
I can see that on 218, there's only one invoice and there's only one payment. There's no longer an invoice plus a sales receipt. Sample customer apparently buys this services from me a lot because they purchased on 213 and then in December. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks for Desktop, QuickBooks for Mac, I would love to hear them. Please go ahead and leave a note in the comments letting me know what topics you might want to hear. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.